KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. The governor, in coordination with the Department of Finance, has worked to prevent abuse and waste of ARPA funding to ensure that the funds are used efficiently and effectively. It's a necessary certain measure to control the expenditure of ARPA funding. A memorandum issued by the CNMI governor to all department and activity heads is clear. Torres writes in part, effective immediately, any new position that a department, office, agency, or instrumentality wishes to be funded by ARPA shall be pre-approved by the governor. Further, all requests for employment of individuals for ARPA-funded positions shall be pre-approved by the governor or designated by the governor by the special assistant for administration. CNMI has had to make cost-cutting measures across the board at the height of the pandemic back in May of 2020, where 500 government employees were um, were furloughed as a result. A very difficult decision for the government to be in. He says there's no exhaustive list of ARPA-funded hires he's able to provide. The authority over those funds is also at the center of House Bill 22-33, which narrowly passed in the House, seeking to give the legislature appropriation powers over the NMI share of funds. It's been sitting in the Senate for months. I'm under the understanding that the governor is the overall funding authority. Uh, uh, I, I, you know, I'm still looking into to, to what extent. I mean, uh, if he's going to go to every uh, employee that uh, potentially potentially might be hired under the ARPA funding to clear them first before they go through through uh, everything else, it's, uh, you know, it's new to me.